Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to The Hard 100, a video series documenting the calling of my collection from what it is to what it's going to be, and that is a Hard 100 Games. Let me do a quick refresher on the rules. Rule number one, I can't get rid of a game until I have played it. Rule number two, the expansion and the game counts as one game. And rule number three, once I get this over here down to a Hard 100, it's one in, one out. Today, we are talking about a game that I played before. I like the idea. It's got one of my favorite things to do in a game, which is be secrety and stuff like that. I've always had more fun playing this than other one. It's... What's the word I'm looking for? Ah, uh, where words? Where words, the hidden identity word game by Bezier Games and Ted Alspach is a hidden identity werewolfy kind of game. If you've ever played Werewolf, or specifically One Night Werewolf, you'll be in familiar ground. The way this one works, though, is everyone is given a role. You're either on the werewolf team or the villager team, and then one person is elected the mayor. How are they elected? You just get a fucking card. One person is elected the mayor, and then you go to the app. The app is great. The app actually walks you through everything uh, as far as who has to open their eyes and close their eyes. If you know anything about a werewolf, everyone closes their eyes, someone wakes up to do something, then they close their eyes. Then another person wakes up to do something, then they close their eyes. Then another person wakes up to do something, and they close their eyes. Then everyone wakes up and stuff happens. The thing that happens at the end of this is not everyone argue about what happened and start accusing. Everyone has to guess a word. That word is dependent on if the mayor is also working on the werewolf team, if he's on the villager team, or if the villagers are at a disadvantage because they don't have the seer. So if you're a villager, your job is simple. You gotta try to figure out what that word is. If you're the seer, you know what the word is, so your job is to steer everyone in the direction to try to guess the word without being too obvious because the werewolf's role is to try to figure out who the seer is because they can figure out who the seer is and they get accused, the werewolf wins. Easy as that, the werewolf also knows what the word is, so they can see through the seer's bullshit. How are we trying to guess this word, you ask? I'm so glad you asked. It's a simple matter of 20 questions. All you're doing is asking a series of yes or no questions, and when you do, you get tokens. These tokens serve two purposes. One, they give answers, and they're also the timer for the game. So this is taking the standard werewolf-style thing and applying it to a guessing word game. So you're gonna ask questions like, is it a person? Does it take place inside or outside? Is it a whatever? Is it a this? Is it a that? Can you blow with it? And it's everything from pastor to dog. We had one that was foghorn leghorn. And here is where the problem arises. You can choose to have a word be easy, medium, hard, or ridiculous. The ridiculous words, they're not funny words. They're words you've never heard of. Hard words are hard words. And the medium words are medium. And everyone thinks we can do medium. The problem is the words are sometimes too hard and you have 100% control over which word bank you're pulling from, you can even make your own word list. So we had a word that came out called Foghorn Leghorn, and of the five people at the table, my old ass is the only one who knew, I say, I say, the only one who knew who Foghorn Leghorn was. So that provided a problem. My seer did not know who Foghorn Leghorn was. My werewolf did not know who Foghorn Leghorn was. So he didn't know who was pointing who, and my mare didn't know who Foghorn Leghorn was. She thought it was some kind of a dancing, singing animal chicken thing. He is an animal chicken, but what? So the problem comes with everyone's ability to know the words, and that's kind of a crapshoot when you're playing with a wide variety of people. Some people might know, for example, what a pastor is. If you grew up down here in the South, you know what a pastor is. But other people might only know them as preachers and priests. It's kind of all over the place. There are other versions of this werewolf style thing, including a game that I really like. We haven't talked about it yet, but we will. The One Night Werewolf game. I know there's One Night Vampire and One Night Alien, and I have One Night Vampire and One Night Werewolf. Let me know if you consider those one game or if I'm gonna have to choose between them, because I don't know. I kind of consider them one game because you can mix and match the roles, but let me know if I'm cheating. Housekeeping. Four to ten players. I've played it with four, and i played it with five. If you play it with more, you adjust the teams and things like that, but it's... It's fine, I guess. Ten minutes, it's very, very short. The timer itself is four minutes plus deliberation and that kind of thing. No big deal. And then ages eight and up. Okay.
I I loved One Night Werewolf. I like regular Werewolf okay. It can be a little unruly in the larger player counts, but One Night Werewolf just seems so snappy and poppy. And if it's run by someone who knows what they're doing, it's really, really good. The engagement is there immediately. I don't feel like the engagement is there for Werewords. The first time I played it, I really liked it because we got lucky with the word. The second time we played it, it was a little less. I played it with my family and their response was, eh. I played it with brand new strangers and their response was, who is Foghorn Leghorn? That's not the response I want when I play a game. When I played a game like Chinatown, they were like, that was awesome. I can't wait to play that again. Even when I played something like Spyfall, they were like, oh, that was fun. But when I played Weird Words, all it was was... So ladies and gentlemen, Weird Words, the hidden identity word game. Unfortunately, it's a really good idea. But because of the weirdness that is the word count, and I just don't have the time, effort, or desire to make my own list and do all that stuff, Werewords, you're out of the hard 100. I do apologize. I am sorry that you are out because I recognize how good and fun your game is and what you're really going for. But I feel like with the one night games that I do have, I'm not gonna miss you. I'm not a super big fan of word games to begin with, but I thought this might be the one to get me into it. It has one of my favorite things with the hidden rolls, but it's just not, it's just too, yeah. I can't really put a word on it. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Billy. This has been the Hard 100s. Where words is gone. Thank you so much for joining me. It might be right for your shelf, but it's not right for mine. This has been the Hard 100. I hope you and yours are well. Peace out.